Hello guys, good day. This is Anna Reinforce McLove, your fellow positive reinforcer. Happy Sunday, by the way. And today we are going to talk about why chasing your dream is so hard. Why, why in the world that whenever we want something really bad that is bigger than us, like we want to be a, an astronaut, but we are, we're living in the poverty. We want to be a scientist, but it seems like our parents cannot afford it. You know the way, you know the kind of dreams that, that is quite so impossible to think about, but with hard work, dedication, faith, and not giving up, some people were able to make their dreams come true. And it's not going to be easy. I mean, it has to be that way. Because, you know, when, when you get things easily, you wouldn't know the value of it. You wouldn't know how to take care of it. That is why when you, are, when you want something so bad that it's quite impossible to achieve it, but you think you can get it, you know, whatever it takes, look, if there's a whale, there's a way. If you want it badly, you're willing to give, to bet your life for it, nothing is impossible. Although to other people, you know, when, when you talk about your dreams to other people, you know, some of them, they just seem like laughing about it. But when you know in your heart that you're going to make it real, look, that's not a, not a, none of their business. So if you have a dream, it's also your responsibility to protect it and you work on it until you finally get it. Time, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you want something so bad. Five years, 10 years, 15 years until the day you get it. Never give up. Now, chasing your dream is hard for several reasons. It could be like a you know, most, most reasons that we only see are practical. You know, uh, something that we can just obviously see most of the time it's about money matters. Like I can't, I can't afford it. I can't do it because we're poor. I can't do it because my parents cannot afford it. I can't do it because I have no education. We have loads of reasons in the world. Like, you know, most of those reasons we just come up, we just come up with that from ourselves. In other words, we are the only limits. We created our only limits. Do you know the reason why it's it's hard to chase your dream at all costs is that basically when you want something so bad, like for example, you want to be a doctor but you are living in a poverty. And when you think about that possibility, it seems like you, you've, no op you've no opportunity. But, you know, those... Those are just obstacles. But when you do anything for it, you know, those setbacks, failures, rejections, external resistance, you know, all these things can make you feel like your goals are out of reach, discouraging you from continuing to pursue your goal. And you have a reason. Yes, you could be right. You could be right. Other people could be right that you can't, you can't do it. You can't make it. But if you are stubborn enough and optimistic to really pursue your dreams, chase your dreams, whatever it takes, look, there's a big probability that you're going to get it if you don't quit compared to quitting. And uh, there's actually a, a Bible, uh, like a Bible uh, phrase about this, uh, you know, facing obstacles and advers adversity when you chase your dream. According to Genesis uh, chapter 20 verse uh, chapter 50 verse 20, it says here that you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Now this is actually from you know from the part of the Bible, wherein we see examples of how even the greatest of leaders face enormous challenges, yet they remain faithful. Just like uh, Joseph, for example. She, he was sold into slavery by his brothers and falsely imprisoned, yet he never lo lost his sight to his dreams. And um, he kept trusting God throughout his trials until he was able to make it. Now, Joseph's story 
teaches us that that hardships can be part of God's plan to shape us and ultimately lead us towards the fulfillment of our dreams. Joseph the dreamer. Now another thing that we got to face when you are chasing your dream that is your self-doubt and fear. Fear of the unknown. Unknown because it's those are just make up reasons why you cannot you cannot have the dream. There's no it's impossible for you. Now one of the most difficult aspects of chasing dreams is this thing overcoming self-doubt and fear. We may wonder if we are capable or worthy of achieving our goals. This inner conflict can hold us back from taking action or stepping out of our comfort zone. Now, I got a Bible verse for this. Now, this is from Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Look, if other people were able to make it, having the same situation as what you have, or even worse, why can't you, you know? Why give your reason not to do it? This Joshua verse reminds us that God is with us in our journey, and we do not need to be afraid of failure or the unknown. We just have to, sometimes we just, we just have to face it and just, okay, like, whatever, fuck it, Dan, and then go, and then, you know, it's, it's not really as bad as we think when we've already crossed the line of our fear. Now, another thing why the world make it hard for us to chase, to, to achieve our dreams. You know the way when we want something so bad, most of the time, it's not a rocket science. It takes time for it, for us to get it. Three years, five years, couple of months, ten years. Nothing, you know, just like when you, pl- when you plant something, it doesn't grow as fast as, like, days. Those worth it goals takes time. It means that uh, the, the failures, the adversities and challenges, you know, those are the test of time, the test of your goals that, you know, when you overcome it, overcome those challenges, adversities, it means that you really do deserve, you know, the things that you're asking. Achieving dreams often requires a long-term commitment and patience. And in today's world, of instant gratification, you know, internet, phones, we're not trained to wait any longer. Waiting for success can be frustrating and disheartening. Now I have a, a Bible phrase again for this. You know, this comes from Psalm 37, verse 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes. So, as I've said earlier, when it's worth it, it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be a rocket science. It's a hard work, suffering, sacrifices, and when you get there, when you get what you want, you are as tough as the rock. Another thing, chasing our dreams takes sacrifice and hard work. Pursuing dreams often involves sacrifice, whether it's time, comfort, you know, you have to be comfortable being comfortable, dis- comfortable being uncomfortable. It could be resources that, you know, sometimes when you chase your dream, there is a, a possibility that you are going to get broke along the way of chasing it. Broke, problematic, heartbroken. But if you still keep your faith, look, it's going to be worth it. And uh, it means that you deserve that damn dream. You, you deserve a, a dream come true moments. Uh, true to life, life-changing, wonderful, dream come true, destiny, whatever you call it. Your, your, your journey will toughen you. 
so that you can des- you deserve what you want. Now I got a a Bible verse for this. Okay, it comes from Galatians verse six. I uh, know chapter nine verse six. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So, never give up, whatever it takes. Heartbreak, problems, broke. Just keep your eyes on the prize. And, you know the way, God has a purpose. Why he wants you to be, he wants to toughen you before he gives what you want. Sometimes what we want for ourselves may not align perfectly with God's plan. Sometimes it's just, it's not for you. But, you know, you just realize one day you deserve better. It's important to seek God's guidance all the time as we pursue our dreams, recognizing that he may have a different, even better plan for us. You know, I want to share this to you. I failed five times in the English test before before coming to Europe. I thought that it's not for me. Gosh, I thought that I'm hopeless romantic about reaching my dreams of, of working abroad, but I thought that it's not for me. But by this you know, by this by the time when I took the six six chance six opportunity six times after I failed five and then I passed I said to myself look this is this is really for me but with with those five failures test failures um I thought that it wasn't I was uh, such a failure but in the span of time with those five takes wherein I failed I learned a lot I've learned to be humble to wait to be patient to to give the best in me to deserve a passing grade which finally took place in the sixth take now I got a a Bible verse again for this from Proverbs Proverbs 16 verse 9 it says here in their hearts humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps now this verse emphasizes that while we can set goals and dream big we should remain open to God's direction, trusting that he knows what is best for us. Now, chasing your dream is hard because of the challenges, fears, and sacrifices that come with it. Those are the price that you have to pay. But if we persevere, you know, as a, if we persevere and do whatever it takes, not giving up, there's a will, there's a way, kind of thinking. You know, things will work out the way it is in God's perfect timing. As you chase your dreams, remember to li- just, in some point, rely on God's strength. Trust in his plan and remain patient in the process. As it says here in Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. So, look, if it's never going to be easy, it means it's worth it. I hope that you learned something from this episode. If you love this content today you can follow me in youtube facebook spotify apple podcast even in amazon music reinforce me love and by the way your fellow positive reinforcer i do appreciate your time and have a lovely day ahead thanks